back to my channel, Button and Pip. Thank you ever so much for popping along today. Now today I'm not gonna be talking about any of my new makes. What I'm gonna be talking about is almost a bit of a catch up with a vlog that I put on a couple of months ago. Now that vlog was all about my unloved me mates. And I had a bit of discussion with my five unloved me mates and some of them were very early makes that I, I, I sort of, my style has changed since then. And some of them were makes that I'd made and once I'd actually put it on, I was just like, mm. and it was the ones that I just never seemed to grab from my wardrobe in the morning. Now, since I put up that vlog, I've had some great discussions with people and it's got me thinking about what I can do with my unloved me mates. Because as I said in my vlog, I was really worried about where they go when I take them to the charity shop because they haven't got any labels in um, I know some of my early makes aren't exactly perfect either and I just don't want them ending up in a scrap heap. So I had some great discussions and it got me thinking and I've started to think about maybe, well not maybe, I'm actually doing it, a me made swap shop. So going back to the 80s swap shop. Now, I've been talking about this over on my Instagram page, but I've not actually done any vlog about it. And it's all over on my blog as well as a big post. So I'll put all the details about my blog post in the description box below. So if you want to ever have a look about this in more detail, go and have a look at that. But I'm gonna talk about the event that I'm hoping to run and to get some of those unloved me maids loved again. So. Let me run through. Now I've got my notebook, so I'm sorry if I'm just looking down all the time. It's running on Saturday the 2nd of November and I'm holding it at a uh, fabric shop close to me in Ashby de la Zouche called Sew Your Own Wardrobe. Now they've got a cellar, wall, um, cellar room which I'm going to be using for the whole day and it's running from 10 till 3. So there's two options actually. You can either pop along on the day and bring your me mates that you want to swap or there's the option of either dropping it off at Sew Your Own Wardrobe if you're passing by, or there's another collection point at Crafty So and So in Leicester. Freya has offered to take some of the me mates there as well. If you can't do either of those, you're more than welcome to post them to me, and all those details are in the blog post. So if that's what you're thinking, go and have a look at the blog post. Now, on the 2nd of November, what I've tried to do is set a system so that it's not just Everybody come, take what you want. Oh, I don't want it to be unfair in, in that respect. So I've got some ideas of how it can run. Now I'm gonna offer a credit system, okay? So there's a value put to the item that you bring along to swap and when you bring those, you get a credit and then those credits can be used to spend, oh my little inverted commas, spend on, on swaps, okay? So the thing that it's gonna be is fabric is going to be one value, top skirts and trousers, two values, two credits each, a dress, three credits, jumpsuit, three credits, and then if you want to swap an outerwear, like a coat or something like that, that's worth four credits, okay? So the idea is when you bring your swaps uh, along, you'll be awarded credits for what swaps you've brought along, okay? And then you can exchange those for swaps to that credit's value. Now, if you want to have more swaps over your credit value, all that I ask is that just make a donation to the charity that I'm holding this whole event in. Um, I'm hoping to donate money to the Pancreatic Cancer UK charity. Sort of in memory of my dad who sadly passed away four years ago with pancreatic cancer. Um, I think it's a disease that it's hidden for a long time and, and unfortunately he passed away from that. But so I'm using that this event really to help support that charity. Now, also, if you come along and you don't have any swaps that you want to swap with, but you would like to have, well, we love, show love against some me mates. Again, all I ask is just a charity donation. I'm not going to put a value on that. All I'm gonna say is, donate what you think that you would like to offer, okay? Now, also, if you bring along some things um, that, and you don't want to take anything away with you, 
What I'm going to offer is any unused credits can be exchanged for raffle tickets, okay? And some lovely people have been offering prizes for the raffle. Thank you ever so much to all my sponsors. This is actually a really big list and I can't put everything on now. What I might do is on the end of this, I'll pop on um, some, uh, some details of all the raffle prizes. So yeah, any unused credits can be used in exchange for those raffle prizes. Raffle tickets can also be uh, bought and all the money, I'm not doing this for any profits myself, all the money will be, be passed on to Pancreatic Cancer UK. Right, also, uh, that's the thing as well. At the end of the day, if there's any leftover fabrics or garments, I'm gonna pop them on an Instagram page. I'm gonna create a whole Instagram page just for this event. And I'll put it on there. And it's almost a bit like a D-stash, how people run D-stashes. Once the item's been put up, uh, the first comment gets it. And all that I do ask is that you just cover the cost of the postage. So I'll pop a notice in the, each of the posts to say how much the postage would be. Um, now, also, and I don't want to exclude anybody that thinks that their me maids are not good enough because I think the fact that you have made that garment is totally amazing. And this is the thing, I want to swap it with people that appreciate how hard it is to choose fabric, to choose a pattern, to make that garment and all the love and time and care that's gone into that. So please, 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 don't worry if you think that your sewing is not perfect because I tell you, my sewing is not perfect. So just look at this. So let me tell you what I'm wearing today. This is my uh, serin dress from Tilly and the Buttons with a flounce. And my sewing is not perfect because my buttons keep popping open. So as I'm walking, I have to actually keep checking that. So I need to sort that out actually. So yeah, that is, I think that's everything. Let me find my page again. I think that's everything I want to talk about. Oh, sorry. Yep. Yep. So yeah, that's all the details. And I know I've been really quick talking about this. If you want to know anything more or ask any questions, please, please just ask. Um, I, I, again, I just want to pass on all these unloved me may so they're sitting in my wardrobe i know i've got my summer wardrobe in out at the moment and i'm going to get my winter wardrobe down from the wardrobe uh from the loft sorry and i know there's so many things actually i've been making a pile already but there's so many things that i've made and just fallen out of love with and they're just taking up space because i want to make new things and I do have a rule that if I don't have enough space in my wardrobe, it has to go. So I'm trying to be really ruthless. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait to see the treasures that people are going to pick up. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching today. If you've got any questions, don't forget, just ask me. And if you like my channel, please, 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 could you like and subscribe? That would be absolutely amazing. And yeah, until I see you again soon... Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.